Well, good morning. It's about 11 o'clock and I am just doing errands, listening to YouTube, and finding myself in a particularly really good mood. Um, I haven't felt this feeling in quite a while where it's just like kind of like this nice like, oh, I feel kind of like free, not guilty about any stupid thing just nice. And on my way doing my errands, so, so far I got in Dunkin's. It's September 1st, so I do not get pumpkin until it is the first day of fall. But I did get maple pecan and yes, it is really good. Got hash browns. I got gas <laughs> in my car, <laughs> not in me. Um, and so now I'm going to Aldi and um, Dollar Tree, which in a town by me, there's like an, it's like Aldi, Dollar Tree, and Savers right next to each other. So it's quite nice. It's a nice money saving area. Um, so I'm about to do that. And I was just kind of thinking about like life. I was listening to Justin Bryant. I'll link him down below. He is amazing for like different ideas on how to make money and like YouTube stuff and just all those great things. Um, and I've just kind of been thinking about like my, like really starting my career and everything. Today I am getting my official book um, to start preparing for the uh, um, insurance exam. I'm not sure exactly when I'll be taking it yet, but the fact that I'm getting the book and going to be because like I just I need to get it over with I need to get that exam I'm preventing get that my license I'm preventing myself from making a lot more money and um it's just I'm done with that <laughs> and then I'll be able to focus more on finishing my degree I have like two semesters left and I don't I don't even know how many how much I have left to go but it's just been so hard with like family stuff going on and just my mental state and like schools are already really hard enough for me anyways as it is and then when I have a lot of other unnecessary things going on that I cannot prevent it's really difficult and usually by the time I ask for help it's too late so yeah I just want it to be done with it and feel proud of myself because I see, I feel guilty every time I see one of those Southern New Hampshire ads on TV, and I'm like, oh, great. Um, but as I was listening to Justin Bryant, he was talking about like ten places that hire um, like at home jobs, and I was just thinking, I was like thinking about some kids that I went to SNU with, and they're all freaking out because I couldn't find like a job on campus and I'm like there's so many things that you can do to make money it's ridiculous especially like as a college student like somebody who is working towards their degree like that just gives you an edge already and it just made me think about how like linear people think and I don't know and like I'm really trying to focus on getting myself to that point eventually where oh Some random person was just calling me, so that's always fun. Um, to where I'm not trading as much time for money, where my money is getting me time. So I can do what I want. And I need to really kind of focus on, like, well, what do I want to do with that time? Like, I want to make my time worth my while, one, but also, two, make it, maybe make it worthwhile for somebody else as well. While I'm having a good time. <laughs> you know? So... Yeah, just kind of thinking about life. And there's a person behind me. I'm gonna pretend they're not there. But yeah, I don't think he really cares. I do, but then I'm like, ah, whatever. He's in his truck. I think he can't hear me. I'm gonna, and I'm looking over here at something. 
That was my life. Oh, and this morning I found a really big spider in my car. I'm just waiting. And the spider was huge. Sorry, get in your car and go away. But anyway, the spider was huge and massive and probably was like an inch and a half big and looked like it was going to jump. So I killed it. <laughs> Oops. Um, I left my window open when I was hanging out with my friend yesterday and I think that's how it got in. So that was cool. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go run my errands. Um, I want you to think less literally, it's a new word, um, just think outside the box. Think, why can't I do this? If I want this, why can't I get it? Because that's what I've been having to try to make myself do. I start to get really scared and fearful that I can't do something, and then I'm just like, well, that's stupid. <laughs> like, why can't I? Like, your fear can keep you safe. Sorry, I'm, like, fidgeting with, like, my thing down here. It's probably picking up. Um, he left. Um. It's a lot. I know that it's really hard to work through fear and guilt that is purely brought on by yourself. And it's all part of having different types of anxiety and stuff. But when you really want to get yourself out of it, you will. It's almost that flight or fight response and I'm starting to go on the fight side and fight for myself because I'm sick of this I'm 22 and almost 23 and already sick of this so yeah I don't want you to be sick of life and I want you to live a happy life and we can all live a happy life and do positive things I want you to go do something nice for yourself today and do nice do something for somebody else Yesterday I donated money to a cause and if that like that's what also too like if you see Like maybe you're a dollar train they're like donate a can of soup to help veterans or whatever do it Why not? It's a dollar like that's the thing like if you can If you can donate do it And just be nice <laughs> I feel really good um and yeah, I want this to keep going. I need to keep it going and not crash. I need to keep this at an even keel. That is another problem that I have. A kind of an ADHD um, side effect is that you just kind of go all in and then you give nothing because you can't give anymore. All right, so figure out your life. <laughs> I'm going to go figure out mine. I'm going to do groceries and face wipes and all that jazz. So have a lovely day. Think outside of the box. And I'll see you soon. Bye.